thank you everyone, uh, especially the contestants for these really interesting points of view on internationalizations. Um, as we have seen today, internationalization is a um, polysemic word. Some linguists will not agree with me on that, but because of all the different meanings that the contestants have shared with us today, that's my idea, that it's polysemic because it has as many meanings as uh, people who experience it can share with us. Uh, there is a huge importance in education and internationalization, education for everyone, education and culture, as the first co contestant has, has shared with us. Um, uh, the type of university and the type of education that we want today is a mixture of different cultures, different languages, and um, we have had a proof of it today here in these monologues. Uh, so we are human and we are imperfect. We know that, but you know what? We're also citizens of the world and we have to look at what we can do for the world like we have heard today. Um, to study or not to study, that's the question. To be or not to be, uh, to share or not to share, to be international or not to be international, to be open to others or not to be open to others. There is as many questions, like I said, as, as people uh, who share this international experience uh, with, with the others. It is, of course, a tool to bring people together. And what a better example than this one today. We are here gathered, sharing our opinion and our ideas on international exchanges and experiences. And those of you who know me just a little bit, you know how much I believe in internationalization, how much I believe in all these exchange programs. And uh, please, uh, keep on doing these international exchanges because of what we have heard here today. So with this, with my monologue, my own personal monologue and my opinion, I'm not a cont contestant by the way, uh, it is now the turn of our judges to uh, deliberate, to turn to deliberate. Uh, they will be conferring in private and we shall inform you on their final decision shortly around 12.15, right? So I think it is time for a break. Thank you so much for being here today as the audience and contestants. Okay, thank you. Hello everyone and welcome back. And uh, now that the judges have come to um, an agreement on who the winner of this competition is, I will now uh, give the floor to the judges, in this case to uh, Simon De Beer who is the um, English language coordinator from the University of Cantabria Language Centre, who will share with us the final um, results. OK, thank you. Right. Can you hear me OK? Yeah? OK. Uh, right. Well, first of all, I'd like to, to thank my colleagues for giving me the opportunity to, to announce the winner. OK. Uh, but most importantly, to thank you guys so much for, uh, for taking part in this contest. Um, and the fact that there weren't that many participants this year shows, I think, how brave and courageous you've been. And uh, I think we were all very impressed with the way you dealt with the, uh, with the presentation, with your monologue. So well done to all three of you. Um, it has not been easy at all for us to choose a winner. And when we totted up our marks, um, there were dead heats on many of the different um, categories uh, in which we, which we assess the speakers, and there were very few points in the overall decision. As there are three of you taking part, I'm just going to announce the winner, okay? Um, but again, before I do that, I'd just like to thank you again for taking part, and it's been very enjoyable for us, and I'm sure for the rest of the, of the people who were, who were listening in, and good luck for the future. Um, so, without further ado, I will announce the winner. Yes, so here we go. Well, the winner of the fourth um, University of Cantabria monologues, English monologues um, debate uh, or event is Michelangelo Giamuveni. Well done. Thank you. 